today i am showing you another medical education series video and here i would like to first enumerate small group discussion methods and then we will discuss pbl problem based learning so there are three small group discussion methods problem based learning pbl tbl team based learning and cbl case based learning so as you have seen my video of time tables modular time table that the week starts with the pbl session so in that session students use the triggers from the problem case or scenarios to define their own learning objectives then throughout the week they do independent self directed learning before returning to the group at the end of the week to discuss and refine their acquired knowledge so trigger materials could be paper based pbl scenarios simulated or real patients an image video clip newspaper article scientific journal lab data family tree showing an inherited disorder now let's discuss how pbl is conducted pbl session consists of 8 to 10 students uh, and a tutor um, students elect a chair who lead the group uh, and a scribe uh, who records the session's activities tutor facilitates uh, the session roles are rotated for each scenarios like in one scenario one student is a chair and in other uh, he is a scribe and in other he is a group uh, participant tutor role is to encourage all the group members to actively participate assist chair with group dynamics and keeping to time keep check on the scribe that whether he is recording all the group activity or not prevents side tracking like the students they are on the problem to be discussed or they are side tracking to another scenario ensure group achieve appropriate learning objectives check understanding and assess performance scribe duty is to record points made by members participate in discussion record resources used by the group help group order their thoughts chair lead the group encourage members to participate keep to time maintain group dynamics and keep check on scribe now members should actively participate in discussion research all the learning objectives and share information with others at the end now let me tell you the seven step process of pbl if you make mnemonics then it is easy to remember like uh, i have made the mnemonics i d b r l p s i for identify the unfamiliar terms present in the scenario or identify the problems then d discuss and define the problems in the scenario then b brainstorming session to discuss the problems in the scenario then four step is r review review steps 2 and 3 and arrange explanations into tentative solutions like confirm whether you have accurately defined the problems and you have performed authentic brainstorming or not then fifth step is of l formulate the learning objectives group reaches consensus on the learning objectives that from the above mentioned piece of article or scenario these are the learning objectives that the group should achieve then is the p p for private study all students then try to achieve the learning objectives by private studying uh, some use internet uh, some use uh, reference books uh, some goes to the 
teachers uh, and find the answers to these uh, learning objectives and then the seventh s sharing the group shares uh, results of the private study with each other uh, so they gather uh, knowledge uh, together uh, and from different sources uh, and tutors checks that whether uh, active learning uh, has taken place and whether uh, the learning objectives of the student matches uh, with that of uh, faculty or not so the seven steps of pbl i d b r l p s so i hope uh, now you remember those now let's discuss the advantages and disadvantages of uh, pbl now advantages are that it promotes active learning uh, it is a student centered uh, program a type of small group discussion um, it develops generic competencies um, it uh, facilitates an integrated core curriculum uh, it motivates the students uh, it promotes deep learning um, the students uh, activate prior knowledge and build on existing conceptual knowledge frameworks now it has also got disadvantages um, like tutors who can't teach pbls uh, so because it's a new thing so the teachers are more familiar with the traditional teaching so it's difficult to teach for them more staff more human resources are required more infrastructure more buildings are required students have their own role models and they may be deprived of those and there is information overload as well so these are the disadvantages of pbl now as uh, pbl is a small group discussion uh, format it facilitates uh, communication skills uh, teamwork uh, listening recording sharing cooperation presentation skills respect understanding motivation and problem solving skills now these are generic skills and attitudes of a competent uh, doctor so pbl is a complete package of knowledge skills and attitude and it has implications for staffing learning resources workload infrastructure and assessment so pba paper based pbl scenarios ensure that all students are exposed to the same problem nowadays real patients are used as stimulus for learning as well so pbl session the ideal pbl session consists of 8 to 10 students and a tutor so that was all about the pbl thank you very much